What's up everyone and welcome back to the AD Academy. Now in the series where I'm coaching myself from bronze to diamond, I am rushing myself through gold. Now in fact, uh, as I'm speaking, as I'm uploading this video, um, I hit platform on this account. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hit diamond in time by the end of the season. I'm not sure when the season actually ends. But uh, as we were able to hit plat 4 in less than 200 games, I think I went from iron 2 on this account to plat 4 in about 190 games. I'm pretty happy with that result and no matter where I end up, I feel like I could have easily hit diamond if I started... Um, if I started sooner or if I just had more time to play more games. Now in this game we're gonna talk about one specific theme and this is planning out fights before they happen. So as you can see I'm playing Ash with a Zillion versus Gragas and Zaya. What that tells me is that we are gonna be poking a lot of the time, uh, at least until 6, we're gonna be a poke comp versus uh, more of an all-in comp. Maybe later in the game we're gonna turn into all-in as well with the zillion, uh, zillion stun and then my R and the slows but uh, as for the beginning we are just gonna be poke versus all-in. Another th important thing is that I m have to dodge the body slams. If I do get body slammed I die. And the second thing is I don't have, I, I shouldn't be using my R on Zaya whenever she has her ult up. So what I, what I have to do is bait out the R. We have to wait for her to use her ultimate before I can use mine onto her. So without further ado, let's get into this game and see how it goes. So right here, just standard, nothing really happening. Leashing for the jungler, getting into the lane. I'm just gonna skip through here. Uh, we do hit level 2 first, I think. Yeah, we hit level 2 first. Uh, Gragas kinda pokes us. We can try and zone, uh, zone them off minions here. Which is what I'm doing, so that's fine. We poke them. I poke them both. This is great. I could be walking up here and attacking the Zaya, but it's kind of whatever. This is a okay up until this point. Now, right here, I know that something's happening because they're walking up, but. I as you can see, they only have one minion versus this entire wave on our side. So there is no way that they're willing to fight 2v2 with such a minion disadvantage. So at this point, it's clear to me that Chaco is here. And what I can do here is to plan this fight out. One, I don't want to fight, but if they engage, how can they engage on me? Okay, so what they can do is Kragas can use his E and flash onto me. So if that happens, I'm dead. I need to, uh, I need to dodge that because when he hits it, I get a, a mini knockup. By that time, uh, Shaco will be there, drop his uh, his box to fear me, and Zaya can like use his Q auto attack and E. I mean, her Q auto attack and E, and I will be like CC'd forever until eternity, and then I'm dead twice. So I don't want to be body slammed. So that's actually the only thing that can really kill me. I mean, Shaco can like pop up here and auto attack me, use his, uh, his E or something, but that's not really going to kill me. So uh, what my plan is here is whatever it takes, I have to dodge the Gragas body slam. So at this point already, I have my finger on my flash key. And right here, he uses his E and I actually expected him to flash onto me because I don't think that the body slam itself was going to hit. But just to be sure, 
I just flashed anyway because and that is because I expected him to flash afterwards uh, so this is rather being rather safe than sorry and as you can see Shaco was here uh, that was a beautiful stun by Zillion by the way and now Shaco is really low uh, we made him waste all this time, he almost died, and Zaya for some reason, she was kind of in a, in minor, minor DC or something, but yeah, call me a douche, but I'll take advantage of that any time of day. So yeah, she gets, uh, she gets ignited, and we get the first blood, and Shaco got low, so we won while they ganked us. Not only does Zaya die here, but she's also gonna lose this entire wave. That's like uh, for the that's almost like se seven, eight minions, even nine, nine minions. Uh, one of them a cannon minion, so that's huge. I got twenty CS. She's got nine. Uh, right here, I do take my time to buy because I was uh, kind of doubting. I wanted to get that tier, but I didn't really have quite enough gold, and I went for a kill, but then I was like, okay, I can sell my potion, and then I can buy the tier anyway, so yeah. And right here, I'm getting back to lane. Nothing really happening. Uh, they didn't quite push it under our tower, so we're, we've uh, they've left us with a freeze opportunity here, which is good for us. I do miss that minion. I that's something I need to work on, but it's fine, losing one mini is A-OK. -okay. So that's fine. Yeah, right here I just want to only last hit these minions. It's still kind of on our side. We can start slow pushing, I shouldn't really be hitting these unless it's last hitting. Also, one thing I probably did a lot this game was use my volley onto the Gragas. But what I wasn't thinking about is Gragas passive. Whenever Gragas uses a spell, he heals for 2% of his HP. So actually poking him is kind of useless. I should be saving my volley for the Zaya instead because at this point I'm just wasting mana. So whenever you're playing against Graga support, please don't use all of your volleys onto the Gragas because here's he's gonna heal at least a lot of it back anyway with his passive. So yeah, at this point, uh, oh wait, he went in. Too bad was not a stun, but we did poke him a lot. He uh, got a chunk of the Zillion, but it's fine. He's for some reason he's. DMing, but it's okay. We're ahead anyway. Don't uh, let's just not get baited by him, by this guy. Also, whenever he's dancing, it makes me made me think like Shaco is here. So, and this is again uh, me using Folly here. Doesn't really do anything apart from wasting mana. Uh, now Shaco, I know that Shaco is in bot, so maybe you can try and do something here. But at the same time, Gragas is strong, they are all in, so all we want to do right here is just kind of poke. At this point I want to be careful, because Shaco was mid, but he can be bot now. So yeah, I want to back. The Gragas is gonna stop me, so I use my volley. Log back further. Am I backing now? No, I don't think I'm backing here. Okay, so we're uh, we're gonna push this wave. I don't think I pushed quite hard enough. Let me see. No, I don't. I didn't push quite hard enough, or the Gragas uh, tanked it for a few seconds. But so yeah, that was a mistake. I should have made sure that it was under the tower. It's A-OK -okay, though, uh, especially since they made the same mistake. They also pushed, but they put and didn't push hard enough, so now the wave is on our side. So that's good, that's Saya's mistake. 
so yeah what we do here is just kind of slow push uh, try to uh, zone them off the minion right here so I'm trying to uh, keep her from getting this minion this uh, the cannon minion so yeah successful and I get the cannon minion myself so that's quite a small lead I got there Shake out the dragon so he's bot side now but we see him going mid so he's not gonna be ganking us it's gonna not gonna be uh, wouldn't have helped anyway because the wave is on our side of the tower so they can't really dive us so yeah let's just fast forward this part nothing really happening I am using my volley again on the Gragas shouldn't be doing that Okay, so right here, uh, the Gragas makes a mistake here. He uses his ultimate before he used E. And then he's going on the Zillion, we, who can just ult himself. But then again, I made a mistake as well. And my question is, can you spot my mistake here? I'll just back it up and let it play out. Okay, so what was my mistake here? Yeah, exactly. I shouldn't have healed the Zillion because he was going to revive anyway. He was going to use his ult anyway. And it was even after he used his ult. So right here he uses his ult. I didn't use my heal yet. It was after he uses his ult that I heal him. Which is just a waste of a, a summoner spell. So, I shouldn't have used it, uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much a big mistake on my part. It's okay. Uh, we didn't die, so that's the most important thing. Right here, when Gragas eat onto me, I mean, he tried to eat onto me, he went in the bush. I should have immediately warded this bush and at least auto-attacked him a few times, but I guess I'm bad. Right. So right here we get a gank, we kill the Gragas, and this was very well, very nicely done by the Saya. I didn't expect him, I didn't expect her to, uh, to ult flash like that. Did she ult flash or did she flash R? I think she flash R, but still. Uh, also, I could have predicted it. Uh, so this is, again, the specific th theme I'm talking about. If I would have planned out this fight, and if I would have known right here, so... If I would have known right here, so okay, the, the only thing she can do is R and then flash onto me so I can dodge, then I could have anticipated it and flashed backwards. So she couldn't have hit me with that E. So right here, if I would have just flashed either on the left of her or to the right, there, were, there would have been no way for her to hit me. But as I wasn't thinking about that, I got surprised by it and she killed me. But it's still fine because the Hecarim is getting fed here. He's on a rampage now, so yeah, I always like a fat Hecarim on my side. Yeah, so let's fast forward. I'm back into the lane now. I'm telling the Hecarim here that he can probably gank again because I have my R now, so it's a nice setup for a gank. And the Zaya doesn't have R here, so, so it's okay. Yeah, right here, as soon as Zaya uh, started walking up in the river, I knew that she was going to get help from either Shaco or Gragas. So I didn't go bald steep just yet. But then, uh, when the Gragas decided to go for the Zillion, then I uh, realized, okay, the, the Zaya doesn't have her flesh, and she probably doesn't have her R up uh, either. So what I can do is just R her and run her down. And the only thing I need to 
the only thing I need to think about is the Dragas R. So it's not only Zaya and me in the fight, but there's also the support you need to think about. So uh, whenever you're in a fight, you uh, should always think about what can kill you or what can stop you from trying to kill someone else. What can stop you from doing whatever it is you want to do. And in this case, it would be the Gregas R. So right here, I'm just going the... Uh, What's it called here? What's his face? The Gangplank. The Gangplank R isn't even on me, so he can do anything. The Gragas is actually the only thing that can do anything because Zaya doesn't have her R, he doesn't, she doesn't have her Flash, not her heal. She doesn't have anything here. So only Gragas can ult in order to stop me from killing the Zaya. So what, all I have to do is flash his R. And that's what I did. So now he actually helped me get closer. And I get a free double kill. And it is only moments later that I fuck it up. Which is right here. Yeah. Where else would Shaco go, right? I mean... Even at the start of this fight, right here... I should have all, uh, already predicted that Shaco would be coming bot. Because right here, you don't see him anywhere. You still don't see him. You still don't see him. So the longer it takes for him to show up somewhere, the more certain you have to be that he's going to be bot side here. So yeah, I practically... 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 Well, that's a difficult word. Practically suicided here. Um, by staying this long. I should have backed as soon as I got the double kill actually. So let's back it up. Right here I should have actually just backed because this mini wave wasn't going to hit the tower. And if I backed right here, uh, it's going to be on my side the wave. So it's still going to be my advantage. So yeah. That was definitely a mistake, but I got a double kill, so it's fine, and Hecarim is still getting more and more fed, which is great. So yeah, let's fast forward. We're getting Dragon here. Just easy, nothing they can do. Alright, yeah. Right here he missed. I think he made a mistake here. Yeah, yeah. in this fight, Gragas will make a huge mistake. Uh, so I will just let this play out. And then I've got a question for you. What mistake did he make? What did he do wrong? Okay, so right here he died. So what did he do wrong? Let, let's back it up. He fucked up his combo super hard. That's the answer. That's as simple as that. What he should have done is uh, he should have E flashed onto me. So right here, he should have like used his W, that's okay. And then he should have E flashed onto me, have the uh, empowered auto attack, Q, and then R, letting his Q explode right when his R lands on me. And not only uh, would he have surprised us and maybe Zillion wouldn't have, wouldn't have even expected it and had the time to use his R. Um, but even when he, he uses his R, I would have been knocked up over here by his ultimate, uh, having me in a shitty position and I would have probably died anyway. But instead he fucks up his combo, so he flashes, then R's me onto the wall. Not even getting me into that shitty of a position. So I, I'm not really even sure if I should have healed here. I was going to be fine either way. But I just healed just to be sure. And then Gragas gets perma CC'd and he dies. So that was a big mistake on his part. Yeah, and then Yasuo shows up. Yeah, oh yeah, right here he also decides to kind of int, uh, forcing him to use his QSS and his flash. But then I return the favor 
by tunnel visioning and I was trying to kill him with my volley but didn't quite get in range. Luckily the Malzar TP'd bot and the Zaya uh, again she did a beautiful RF flash combo but this time is quite lucky. Uh, luckily I survived so yeah. I should have died for that though. I, uh, that was a huge mistake on my part, chasing the Yasuo like that. But yeah, we were winning anyway. I was getting greedy, uh, quite a bit cocky. And it was a mistake, I should have died for it, but it's okay. And it was after this point that there's not really much to talk about, I think. As we're all just kind of snowballing to this win, especially the Hecarim. So yeah, let's fast forward, we're getting a tower, uh, another two free kills here. <clears throat> yeah, this one's over. Um, we're just killing them all, getting inhib, getting another dragon, another tower on Darius part. So yeah, even right here, it's, I think they're, yeah. Right here they surrendered. So all it comes down to is one specific thing. Plan out a fight before it starts. Think about what can kill you and who can stop you from doing what you want to do. And if you don't have an answer or you don't like the answer, then just don't do it. Yeah, so that was it for this game. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, share it with your friends, your family, your pets, with anyone you know, and let them know that this channel exists. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day.